I am so excited to bring you this today. Armholes, sleeves, and the relationships between the two of them. I'm so excited. It's so simple. The only reason, I, I believe strongly, the only reason you all struggle with them is because you've never been taught how simple they are. And so we, I, I think, I think they've been made more complex than they are. You're gonna be the one to tell me <laughs> because after this little lesson, I think it'll just free you up forever. And just, you can take armholes and sleeves and go to the bank with them. All right, but it takes a little bit of time to understand them, and I mean very little time. So the first thing you gotta do is just pretend you know nothing about our armholes and sleeves. Wipe them out of your head, wipe them out of your brain. You know nothing about armholes and sleeves. Is that a deal? All right, deal one. Then I'm gonna tell you there's four armholes and three sleeves. And you could go your whole life with four armholes, three sleeves. So the armholes are like a tank top, sleeveless. A knit, and so we did a little special for you on this. We did um, What's Up Your Sleeve DVD with 113 and 611. That was a knit armhole and a woven armhole. Those are kind of the deal that we had, but it doesn't matter. You've got a knit armhole, you've got a woven armhole, and you've got a jacket armhole. This is a princess seam, so I only pulled the portion that has the armhole. When I show you the fronts, the backs are just the same. That those armholes are gonna go in scale, in size. It is not an ability that anybody has, me or anyone, to tell you what armhole you like. In fact, the opposite, you need to know what armhole size you like. And sometimes when I say what armhole size you like, people look at me like I'm talking some foreign language. I'm not talking a foreign language. You need to know what armhole size you like. Where do you get that? Get it off the clothes you wear, get it off, you know, I, I have so many emails on this. I don't have an armhole I like, what do I do? You go shopping or you trial and error in sewing. You do one of those two things. Many times with women, when I'm fitting them in workshops, um, they say to me, they, they have a blouse on and they say, well, look, the armhole's too low. You can't judge an armhole being too low or not without the sleeve in it because the armhole is dictated by the sleeve. And if you have to have a larger sleeve, you have to have a larger armhole. But let's not panic yet because there's lots of creative things we can do. You know, this is just gonna be the base. This is gonna be the base of what you're gonna do. So I collect my armholes. Again, get them from garments you've made, get them from garments you wear. All I have to do is take my French curve, lay it down on the armhole, and count the number of inches that armhole is, whether it be a pattern or whether it be ready-made. Doesn't make a difference where I get it from. I do need to have a sleeve pattern that goes with it. But let's take several examples. Let's Example number one is I have nothing that I like, but I've gotta go shopping. I go shopping, I find something I like. Even if you have to try on something that's too small for your bust, get it for your armhole. You know, get the armhole and sleeve you like. So let's say I've got it and I've measured it. In, in patterns that we sell, like most of our, all of our patterns for tops have at least eight armholes. Because of all the sizes, you have all the different armholes. So there's at least eight different armholes and sleeves. Chances are we're going to hit one of those you like. Some of our garments, if they're sized in every increment, which we've done in some of our, like the sheath dress, we have, you know, 16 armholes and sleeves. So you're going to find something you like. Don't panic about that. I would worry more about finding what it is you like and then bringing it back to numbers. You want to attach a number to what you like because you're a sewer and you need to know. On the back page of our website, under features, we have a measurement chart, a garment measurement chart. If you'll print that out and start there as kind of like your little Excel spreadsheet. We did that so you could fill out for a t-shirt, a blouse, a jacket. It's just a little gridded chart. You'll find it. Features, go to Silhouette Patterns, Features. And then on, you know, it says um, garment measurement chart. Start filling that out in numbers so that you'll recognize you're doing the same thing over and over. That's what you want to glean from this is that these armholes are not changing all over the board. They're standards and you're going to find what you like and then you're simply going to make the template and I'm going to show you how to do that and then how to draw it onto other things. Okay, so the four armholes again are the tank top, the knit, the blouse, woven blouse, and then a jacket. And the variances are simply because of the fabric. For instance, in my blouse, 
if I need more mobility, I have to have more circumference around the sleeve. And as I have to have more circumference around the sleeve, I have to have a larger armhole. That's just the name of the game. That's how it works. With a jacket, many times I'm adding a shoulder pad. So the armhole becomes larger because that shoulder pad is being added in. So if I look at it, for me, my, my knit armhole and my sleeveless are the same. The, so I don't actually have four armholes, I only have three. And that's simply because I'm taller. If you're shorter, you could have a smaller armhole for your sleeveless and for your knit. You may have a difference there, but again, it's your choice to decide, it's your decision. All right, then the blouse, because there's no shoulder pad, but because again, it's woven, it's gonna be a little bit larger. And then because there's a shoulder pad for the jacket, it becomes even a little bit larger. If you say to me, I don't ever wear a shoulder pad, then your blouse and your jacket may be the same. All these variances, are they're all style. They're all your decision to do with them what you want. What I want you to do though, is to save a lot of time because each of these has a sleeve. This is my knit armhole, this is the sleeve that goes with it. Anytime I use a knit armhole, I use my knit sleeve. So now I, I, I just laid, what I did is I laid this down onto a cardboard and I copied the armhole size. And then I just made it a little bit wider so I literally could carry it, hold it, whatever, and you know, make it tangible. Now the reason I did that is because now I'm gonna go to a blouse and I'm gonna make this blouse out of a knit. There's two things to consider when you go from a, a knit to a woven. How do I get it off and on? And then how do I move? If I make it out of a knit, I can put my knit sleeve on and I don't have to worry about movement. And if I put the center front on a fold, I can slip it over my head if it's knit. So I've followed the two properties that I have to follow in order to go from a knit to a woven. I mean, I'm sorry, from a woven to a knit. So number one, how do I get it off and on? Because a woven shirt often has buttons that go up the front. And then how do I move? But if I'm using a knit fabric and a knit sleeve, then I've taken it back to a knit garment. And if I've taken it back to a knit garment, I want it to have a knit sleeve. If it has a woven sleeve on a knit garment, the sleeve will feel way too big and I won't like it. So that's when I come in with this template and I start at the shoulder seam because there's no difference between a knit shoulder seam and a woven shoulder seam. I put the armhole there, but I, I swing it out to the side seam. Now chances are I went down in size so I may not, I may have a new side seam, but it doesn't matter because as long as I have it here, this kind of becomes a pivot point for me. And I'm just gonna pivot this whole thing out to wherever the side seam is. It doesn't even matter where it is. The, sh the armhole is gonna become two points for you. Point A is the shoulder seam, and I'm gonna put it at the width of the shoulder, and point B is the side seam. And you can see in this case that the sleeve needs to to be that the armhole, I'm sorry, needs to be smaller. So I'm gonna extend the side seam up until I meet this point and then redraw it in, that's it. My armhole can go between any two points. Let's say I'm on another pattern, heaven forbid, I really don't want you to be on another pattern. <laughs> but even if you are, I can take and put this wherever at the shoulder point I want and then again, swing it out to the side seam your armhole is going to match every garment you wear that goes from shoulder seam to side seam. It's not gonna be, oh, I can't do that. I can't, you know, you're just gonna have to figure out. And many of the times what it means is bringing the side seam up on the front and the back so that the sleeve can match, I mean, the armhole can match a point. Even if it means, it just means that the armhole usually has to come up a little bit. Okay, that's as hard as it gets. If I'm going to a jacket, and now I wanna make the jacket a knit armhole, I first would take away the shoulder pad. So let's say I'm gonna do away with the shoulder pad and the shoulder, the pattern calls for a one inch shoulder pad. I'm gonna take that amount away. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna put my template down here because I'm okay with the width of the shoulders. I'm okay with that. And you can see again, it's higher. So if I extend that side seam up, bam, I've got my dress now my sheath dress now or my jacket whatever it is in a knit with a knit armhole and a knit sleeve because i come in i already have my sleeve that works is this fun this is so much fun it's so easy and the front and the back are no different 
you can see that this is the front, the back and this is my net armhole and this is my woven blouse and if I start to compare those you can see that the knit armhole is smaller, narrower than my woven. So you can just gonna make a template for the front and make a template for the back. And then what you can do, no matter what knit garment I go to, I can say, oh, I really like this garment, but I'm worried about the armholes and sleeves. You don't have to, you can just take your template, put it here, put it here, say, oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. And then I'm making that garment and knowing that my armholes and sleeves are what I want them to be. Perfect. Perfecto. All right. So our goal is for all of you to have a happy sewing. And if we're struggling with armholes and sleeves, it's hard to have happy sewing. <laughs> happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.